The story of Buddha, also known as Siddhartha Gautama, is one of the most profound and inspiring tales in the history of humanity. Born in ancient India, around 563 BCE, he would go on to become the founder of Buddhism, a religion that has millions of followers worldwide. His life journey, from a sheltered prince to an enlightened spiritual teacher, is a testament to the power of human transformation, compassion, and the quest for inner peace. In this narrative, I will explore the life of Buddha and his teachings, all within the span of 5,000 words. Siddhartha Gautama was born into a noble family in Lumbini, a town in what is now modern-day Nepal. His father, King Suddhudna, was a ruler of the Shakya clan, and his mother, Queen Maya, was a descendant of the Kolya clan. Siddhartha's birth was accompanied by miraculous events. According to legend, Queen Maya dreamt of a white elephant entering her womb, signifying that she would give birth to a great being. This event was seen as an auspicious sign. As a prince, Siddhartha enjoyed a life of luxury and privilege within the confines of the palace. He was sheltered from the hardships and suffering that afflicted many people outside the palace walls. His father, fearing that Siddhartha might one day renounce his worldly possessions to become a spiritual ascetic, took great measures to shield his son from the realities of life. Despite his father's efforts, Siddhartha's curiosity about the world outside the palace grew. At the age of 29, he decided to venture beyond the palace grounds, accompanied by his charioteer, Channa. During these excursions, he encountered four profound sights that would change the course of his life. The first sight was that of an old man bent and frail, struggling to walk. Siddhartha was struck by the inevitability of old age and the suffering it entailed. The second sight was a sick man, suffering from a debilitating illness. Siddhartha realized that sickness was a universal aspect of human life. The third sight was a funeral procession, which exposed him to the concept of death and the sorrow it brought to those left behind. The fourth and final sight was that of a wandering ascetic, a renunciant who had renounced the world in pursuit of spiritual understanding. These encounters deeply affected Siddhartha. He was overwhelmed by the suffering and impermanence of human existence, and he became determined to find a way to alleviate this suffering. Siddhartha's resolve to seek the truth grew stronger with each passing day. He recognized that his life of luxury and privilege within the palace was incompatible with his quest for spiritual understanding. In a moment of great significance, Siddhartha made the decision to renounce his princely life and set out on a spiritual journey. Leaving behind his wife, Yashodhra, and his infant son, Rahula, Siddhartha shaved his head, donned the simple robes of a wandering ascetic, and set out into the world. He wandered through the forests and villages of India, seeking guidance from various spiritual teachers and masters, hoping to find answers to the fundamental questions of life, suffering, and the nature of reality. For several years, Siddhartha undertook rigorous ascetic practices, including fasting, extreme austerities, and meditation. He practiced self-mortification to the point of physical exhaustion, hoping to attain spiritual realization. However, despite his extreme efforts, he found that these practices did not lead to the profound understanding he sought. His body became emaciated, and he grew weak. 
Realizing the futility of extreme asceticism, Siddhartha decided to change his approach. He accepted a meal from a kind woman named Sujata and resolved to find a middle path, a balanced approach that would lead him to enlightenment. He sought a quiet spot beneath a pipal tree in Bodh Gaya, India, where he wore to meditate until he found the answers he sought. Siddhartha spent 49 days meditating beneath the Bodhi tree. It was during this period that he faced a series of challenges from the forces of Mara, the demon of illusion and desire, who sought to distract him from his quest for enlightenment. Siddhartha remained resolute, and at the age of 35, he achieved a profound realization. He understood the nature of suffering, the causes of suffering, and the path to liberation from suffering. This realization marked his enlightenment and led to the emergence of the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path, which would become the foundation of Buddhist teachings. The Four Noble Truths are the fundamental principles of Buddhism, representing Siddhartha's insight into the nature of suffering and the path to liberation. These truths are as follows. 1. The truth of suffering. Siddhartha realized that suffering is an inherent part of human existence. Birth, aging, illness, and death are all forms of suffering. Additionally, he identified other forms of suffering, including separation from loved ones, encounters with what is disliked, and the failure to obtain what is desired. 2. The truth of the origin of suffering. Siddhartha identified craving as the root cause of suffering. He understood that attachment and clinging to desires and the ego's insatiable demands were the sources of human suffering. 3. The truth of the cessation of suffering. Siddhartha realized that it was possible to overcome suffering by eliminating the causes of suffering. This state of liberation from suffering is known as Nirvana. 4. The Truth of the Path to the Cessation of Suffering Siddhartha articulated the Eightfold Path, which consists of ethical and mental guidelines that lead to the cessation of suffering. The Eightfold Path encompasses right understanding, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. Having attained enlightenment, Siddhartha, now known as the Buddha, decided to share his profound insights and teachings with others. He journeyed to the nearby city of Sarnath, where he delivered his first sermon, known as the Dhammakaka Pavatana Sutta or setting in motion the wheel of Dharma. In this discourse, he expounded the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path to his five former companions, who became his first disciples. The Buddha's teachings quickly gained followers, and he continued to travel and spread his message throughout India. His disciples, known as Bhikkhus and Bhikkhunis, formed a monastic community that played a vital role in preserving and transmitting his teachings. The Buddha's teachings emphasized self-awareness, ethical conduct, mindfulness, and meditation as the means to attain enlightenment and liberation from suffering. His message was non-dogmatic, encouraging his followers to test his teachings through their own experience. The growth of the Buddhist community faced numerous challenges. Various competing philosophies and religious traditions existed in ancient India, and the Buddha's teachings were sometimes met with resistance and skepticism. However, his compassionate and rational approach to spirituality attracted followers from various backgrounds. The Buddha's teachings gained royal patronage, and many kings and rulers embraced Buddhism. King Ashoka in particular, played a crucial role in spreading Buddhism across India, 
and other parts of Asia by sending missionaries to promote the Dharma. As a result, Buddhism began to flourish in various regions, and the Buddha's teachings were recorded in texts known as the Tripitka or Pali Canon. As the Buddha continued to travel and teach, he encountered both admiration and opposition. He had numerous encounters with people from all walks of life, addressing their questions and concerns with wisdom and compassion. Despite his increasing age, the Buddha continued his journey, sharing his teachings and offering guidance to his followers. During one of his journeys, the Buddha fell seriously ill at the age of 80. He knew that his time on earth was coming to an end. He arrived at the town of Kushinagar, where he lay down between two sal trees and entered a deep state of meditation. It was in this state that he attained Parinirvana, the final and complete liberation from the cycle of birth and death. The date of his passing, known as Parinirvana Day, is celebrated by Buddhists around the world. After the Buddha's Parinirvana, his teachings continued to be passed down orally within the monastic community. Over time, these teachings were written down and compiled into various texts, forming the foundation of the Buddhist scriptures. The two major branches of Buddhism, Theravada and Mahayana, emerged, each with its own interpretation of the Buddha's teachings and scriptures. Theravada Buddhism, also known as the Way of the Elders, emphasizes the preservation of the original teachings and the monastic tradition. It is prominent in countries like Sri Lanka, Thailand, Myanmar, and Cambodia. Mahayana Buddhism, on the other hand, emphasizes the idea of compassion and the potential for all beings to attain enlightenment. It spread to regions including China, Japan, Korea, and Tibet, and developed into various sects and schools. Buddhism's influence extended far beyond Asia. In the modern era, it has gained adherence around the world. The practice of mindfulness and meditation, derived from Buddhist teachings, has become a global phenomenon, attracting people seeking inner peace and personal transformation. The story of Siddhartha Gautama, the Buddha, is a profound narrative of a spiritual journey, enlightenment, and the quest to alleviate human suffering. Born into privilege, Siddhartha's life was transformed by his encounters with the realities of aging, illness, and death. His determination to find answers led to years of ascetic practices and, ultimately, to his enlightenment beneath the Bodhi tree. The Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path, central to his teachings, provide a roadmap for understanding suffering and attaining liberation. The Buddha's wisdom and compassion continue to inspire millions of people worldwide, and his legacy lives on through the enduring practice of Buddhism.